all right hello everyone so in this video i'm gonna discuss about alternating sequences what do i mean what do i mean is that the terms of the sequence are alternating switching between the sign negative and positive okay now i'm gonna start this video with a common misconception so the common misconception is divergence always means the limit infinity that means if you have a sequence that goes to infinity or negative infinity that means the sequence is divergent and that's the only case where you can get a divergent sequence that's not true um if you think, uh, think about the convergence not divergence convergence convergence means your sequence should approach to a real number okay so negative infinity or infinity is not a real number of course then it's divergent but the convergence means approaching how about when you have a sequence where it's not neither approaching to a in to infinity or negative infinity or it's not approaching to a number at all how about that type of a sequence that's divergence also so infinity negative infinity is not the only scenario that you get divergence okay all right so let's visualize this let's look at the sequence negative one to the n so if you look at the values of the sequence they are negative one 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 negative one right let's plot it let's see how it looks like so as you can see it's a so here one you have says set of sequence terms and in negative one you have terms of the sequence as you can see it does not approach to anything okay it does not have the approaching behavior it's neither going to infinity or negative infinity it's just one and negative one right so as you can see it does not approach to anything so this sequence is also divergent an example where you your limit is not infinity negative infinity or any other thing it actually does not exist limit does not exist so if you calculate the limit in determine in determinate so there's no limit so this is a divergence case too all right the second misconception is okay then students think whenever you have that alternating scenario whenever you have that negative one to the end your sequences are always going to diverge does not approach anything that's not true either let's look at the sequence this fantastic sequence negative one to the n over n okay so let's visualize it think what's going on here all right let's look at the values uh, if you look at the values negative 1.5 negative 0.3 negative uh, 0.25 so the values are decreasing so the positive values are decreasing right 0 0.5 to 0 0.25 then to 0 0.166 then to 0 0.12 so the positive values are decreasing and the negative values from negative 1 to negative 0 0.02 so in negative sense it's actually increasing but they are get clo getting closer to zero right so let's plot it look at the behavior here so the, all the positive terms of the sequence are approaching to zero because that one over n effect right when n is when let's say when n is even negative one to the n over n when n is an even power negative one to the even power is always positive so it's it's going to reminisce um it's going to behave like one over n so one over n is decreasing and approaching to zero and negative uh, so when n is odd that's negative one over n so in negative sense the values are increasing but increasing towards negative values are increasing towards zero right so both values are approach into zero from both sides so this is a convergent sequence here the values are alternating i know but it's still convergent and it's converging to zero okay so this is a perfect example all right uh just to make sure let's calculate the limit let me show you limit is zero this is a convergent sequence okay now let's look at the sequence negative one to the n times n okay all right uh two, 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 two. let's in okay all right okay so here of course what's going to happen here is all the odd numbers are negative negative one negative three negative five negative seven negative nine and the even numbers two four six eight even terms are positive so what's the plot going to look like as you can see the positive value so 1 3 5 7 10 uh, 1 7 9 11 13 so they are increasing and negative numbers they are decreasing right in negative sense negative 1 um let's see negative 1 negative 3 negative 5 negative 
oh oh i'm, I'm sorry i was over excited so the odd numbers they are negative and they are incre they are decreasing right negative 1 negative 3 negative 5 negative 7 negative 9 they are going to negative infinity right they are decreasing higher than negative value is that's lower but the odd values 2 4 6 8 10 they are increasing they are going to infinity so from one side it's going to infinity from other side it's going to negative infinity but it does not approach to anything okay it does not even approach infinity or negative infinity it's oscillating between so the limit does not exist here again it's a divergent sequence okay all right um now let's discuss another type of a sequence the last type so in my first video we discuss about sequence that look like r to the n so when r is a number greater than one we our sequence is divergent when r is between zero and one when well we have a convergent sequence right we learned that how about if r is a negative number so there are two scenarios that can play up so the sequence is r to the n how about if r is between negative 1 and 0 okay all right what do you think what's going to happen so let's take an example negative half to the n so if we plot negative half to the n think what's going to happen all right so it's a, it's it's so the denominator is um higher okay denominator is large if you forget about that negative part one half so when you keep on taking powers it's one fourth one eighth okay so the values are all of course switching but what happens is let's plot it as you can see the positive fractions they are approaching zero right so the positive you get positive fractions when n is an even power so one um let's see then one fourth one eighth um one uh no not one eighth right one sixteen one fourth one sixteen so one fourth one sixteen one sixty four so even though you take even powers that you are taking the powers of two in the denominator so the positive values are getting smaller and smaller approaching to zero and the odd n powers so that those are like negative one half negative 1 over 8 negative 1 over 32 still 1 half 1 8 1 32 they are getting closer to 0 so from both sides they are getting closer to 0 right so it's convergent to 0 so again it's convergent the limit exists limit is 0 okay so that's what going on so when r is between negative 1 and 0 it's still convergent so these two together we can see when we can say when r absolute value of r is less than 1 the sequence is convergence r to the n is convergence that means absolute value of r less than 1 means r is between negative 1 and 1 how about if r is even less than negative 1 so for example let's take a uh, sequence negative 5 to the n what do you think gonna happen let's find out that's our last example well let's plot so oops what happened here so the values are negative oh okay so something went bad right okay excuse me there so let's okay all right so negative 5 25 negative 125 so look at the negative values negative 5 to negative 125 huge jump negative 125 to negative 3125 so the negative values are getting smaller but they are going to negative infinity but the look at the positive values 225 625 15625 they are getting huge so if we plot them they are getting huge you can see these values are going to infinity from one side the other values are going to negative infinity from other sides again limit does not exist limit is neither infinity or negative infinity it does not exist again this is a divergent sequence okay so when r is less than one it's actually divergent so now we have a good idea about sequences that look like r to the n but the main discussion in this video is when you have alternating um sequences okay all right perfect so that's what uh, i have for this video i will see you in future videos thank you very much